This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 5. Coverage you can count on. We are continuing our coverage. It is now 5 o'clock, and we've been on the air throughout the day today. We'll be on throughout the evening as well, as now we are starting to feel the impacts of Hurricane Dorian. Good evening. I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sagowski. We want to get the very latest right now from our chief meteorologist, Tom Terry. And Tom, uh, is there a new advisory out with Dorian at 5 o'clock? There is. It's speeding up a little bit more. Uh, we're up to 6 miles an hour, which is a lot better than being stalled for a day and a half in the Bahamas. And this is the graphic I've been waiting for nine days to show you. <laughs> Next 24 hours is our worst weather. After that, things will start to improve very, very quickly. Now, right now, we continue to monitor the storm itself. Uh, this is Cocoa Beach, the big washing machine effect. We're coming out of a high tide. We'll have another high tide at midnight. That's when the waters will surge back up, especially on our northern beaches. About 99 miles, very strong Category 2. Starting to get a little better structure here around the center, but it's not going to get much closer than about 80 miles off of the easternmost point of Brevard County later on tonight, moving to the northwest. And again, a 36-hour stall that will have forever changed the the lives of people uh, in the Bahamas and it has continued to lift more toward the north and again as it's slowly accelerating we have some dry air that's helping us out too it's kind of eroding some of the western fringe of the rainfall but we're starting to get some tropical storm conditions more and more reports of wind gusts to 60 miles an hour sustained 43 gusts to 60 that's going to be down at barefoot bay we also had a wind ring nearly 60 in titusville over by merritt island so this is that tropical storm condition we could get some higher gusts over 65 maybe later on tonight maybe 70 we'll see i think the highest risk for hurricane conditions are going to be about 10 to 15 miles off the coast these are all little tropical storm uh, conditions that are coming through you see the outer rain bands will be dancing around for periods of time another heavy downpour moving into new when you get these rain bands, that's where the wind gusts are, and we're getting even more uh, flooding issues. And this is way before we have high tide at midnight and at noon tomorrow. So this just came in Palm Coast, the tide level in the canal measured at 23 inches above the high water uh, mark normally for Northeast Palm Coast. We're starting to get some river issues up here. Wait till the storm's closer tomorrow. That's why we could have a uh, storm surge along the coast of four to seven feet, mainly in our northern sections. The track still keeps it east of us by midnight and 2 a.m., 2 p.m., and then by tomorrow afternoon, this thing will quickly be on its way, Greg. But the worst is the next 24 hours. We made it day nine. We yes. have been waiting, and here it is. All right, thank you.